What's going on guys, it's Jono, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about scraping Instagram. Specifically, how you can scrape Instagram posts, hashtags, and profiles. So if you guys have done this in the past manually, you can just ditch all of that, because what I'm gonna be sharing today is how you can automate the whole freaking process. <laughs> so either you've done it by hand and you're like, man, this is such a waste of my freaking time, or you had to pay somebody else to do it and you spent an obscene amount of money. And in this video, we're going to talk how you can do it for like literally pennies, like maybe even like half a penny <laughs> and pretty much no time at all. We're going to be scraping thousands, tens of thousands or millions or billions or trillions of different Instagram profiles or whatever in this video. I'm just kidding. You're not going to be able to scrape trillions. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nonetheless, let's get into it right now now. So in front of me, we have Appify. It's a web scraping platform where you can just scrape all different types of things, Google, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, you name it, you can probably scrape it. If you go down the page, you'll see a bunch of code, right? And if you see this, you might get scared and you might be like, oh my God, I don't know anything about coding. This isn't for me. And you might be thinking about hitting that back button, that shiny back button at the top of your uh, computer there. But don't worry, because we're gonna do this without any code. There is no code involved in this to get started. Okay, so it's actually free to get started with Appify, you can create an account and you can go to the console. Now, once you log into the console, what you're likely gonna wanna do is navigate directly over <laughs> to the store page where there's a bunch of presets, right? These are all preset uh, different scrapers that other people have built. So instead of having to learn software engineering and then build out your own scraper, you can just piggyback off of everyone else who has built this technology before you, which is great because <laughs> it expedites the process. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for Instagram, but before we do that, you can see like web scrapers for Google Maps or Facebook or Instagram or you know all these other different options. But we're just gonna go ahead for this, uh, this tutorial, we're gonna type in Instagram. And there's actually three different scrapers we're gonna be using for this tutorial. We're gonna be using the Instagram scraper for profiles. We're gonna be using the Instagram hashtag scrapers for, you guessed it, hashtags. <laughs> and we're gonna be using the Instagram post scraper for posts. So if we navigate over to the first one, it's super freaking easy to get started. Now, all we have to do is once we log in, just make sure you're set to regular here because you probably don't want to be using JSON for this, although you can, but you probably don't want to be. Uh, in the regular section, you can go ahead and you can just select, I want to scrape by details of a profile, a post or hashtag or a place, right? You can also do posts and comments in this one, but we're just going to do profile and you're going to set the max item to however many things you want to scrape. But just for this tutorial, we're going to be using five, so it loads a bit faster. And other than that, all you have to do is choose what, choose what you want to scrape by. So in this instance, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to enter in a search query here, which in my case, I just wrote down business owner, right? Um, so that you can search so many different profiles by business owner and click start. Now this is gonna go through the painstaking process of scraping all of those profiles that you may have been doing previously by hand. All right, so we're pretty much done here. It's just gonna load the results in. There we go, we have our five different results, right? So you can see the different profiles we have here. And um, it's gonna scrape pretty much all the details that you wanna know on a particular profile. So maybe you wanna know the biography, or the business category name. Any external URLs that they have in their profile are also gonna be listed here as well. Some of the more important things that I like to know are like, you know, maybe the following count, right? That's, that's always nice to know. Is it a business account, yes or no? Um, did they recently join? You can see things like, um, as well, their URL, right? So if we just go ahead and we click this URL, it's actually gonna take us to this page right? Which is nice because if you want to do like competitive research, maybe you want to hire people and you just want to scrape based on a different or a particular keyword, you can go ahead and do this. You can open up the, the pages and you can do thousands at a time. Okay, perfect. So we have officially scraped profiles. The next thing that we're going to want to do is scrape by hashtag. And what we're going to do in this one is use the Instagram hashtag scraper, which can be found in the store once again. So you go to the store, type in Instagram, and you will type uh, use the, the first one that comes up, or it should be the first one that comes up, at least in this video, the Instagram hashtag scraper. And re this one is so freaking difficult. 
I'm just kidding. All you have to do <laughs> is enter in the keyword that you want to use, and then it's going to scrape all of the different posts by that particular hashtag. So once again, I'm going to just go ahead and scrape five and click start. All right. So we've got our five different uh, listings here. So you can see the post URL. We can actually go ahead and open up this post URL and there we go. We have the first, uh, the first thing that it scraped about web scraping that is super meta. And uh, yeah, there we go. Such a stunning, beautiful post by gem.educa. I hope I pronounced that right, gem.educa. I'm sorry if I didn't. And yeah, you can just scrape as many of these posts as you want. You can see the text, the post URL, you can see the author who posted all of that kind of stuff, comments, hashtags. Maybe you wanna do some keyword research and find different hashtags that you can use for your own campaigns based on what your competitors are doing. That's a super nifty way that you can find it. And the last one we're gonna go ahead and do is the Instagram post scraper. So we're gonna be uh, scraping posts on a particular profile. So why this would be useful is maybe you have a competitor, you want to quickly take a look at all of the different posts that they're doing on their profile and, and, and look at it, you know, item by item or, or, or whatever. So you can see or compare your metrics to theirs. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my own account here and you can just type in whatever Instagram user that you want to use and you can go ahead and set how many posts you want to scrape. And once again, click start. All right. So we have scraped five different posts. We can go ahead and open up one of these posts so you guys can take a look. This is, uh, this is me in uh, Colombia, actually. And um, yeah, you can even see how much it costs you to do this. So this officially cost me, to show you this guys, cost me 1.4 cents to do that. So <laughs> super cheap, as long as you value your time more, uh, more than like, you know, 1.4 cents per, you know, uh, I don't know, like, two minutes, then this is probably worth it. And yeah, <laughs> everything else that you want to know about that profile or that post can be here, the text, the post URL, the number of comments, first comment, author, when it was posted, how many likes, all of that kind of good stuff. And when you're ready to export all of the different things that you've scraped on Instagram, you can go ahead and click export five results and you can choose whatever file format that you want. But for most of the time, the CSV option is most applicable. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click download and we're gonna open that up in Excel. Okay, so let's go over to Excel and see all of the data that we have found. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna see is how atrocious <laughs> This, uh, this formatting is nothing rubs me more the wrong way when it comes to Excel or Google Sheets than when the lines take like literally 10 years to, to scroll past. Um, so you can go ahead and you can reform that data. But essentially, all of your results are going to be kept in this Google or this uh, Excel uh, CSV file. And there you go. All the information can be scraped within essentially minutes. And that's how you can go through thousands or even hundreds of thousands of different profiles, hashtags, or posts very, very quickly and automate the whole process so that you guys can save time, money, potentially hire people to do competitive market research. If you guys liked uh, you know, stuff like this, then please hit the subscribe button down below, hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one.